Hola Gemini Sun Virgo Moons welcome to your 2022 Sun Moon reading um, if it resonates consider a personal reading just send me an email or a DM and we can go ahead and set that up when you view it is when you were meant to see it it doesn't matter the time of year also check out your 2021 Sun Moon readings that are in my playlist see if they rang for true for you first portion of this video we'll go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination I'll lay out the main cards we'll take a quick look at your 2022 the second portion will be the Vimeo reading below where I will clarify in depth and pull a card of advice for you for 2022 so um, I'll be dividing the year up into four separate sectors. Gemini, Sun, Virgo, Moons, you are a cere cerebral being who is very good at making clear and conscious decisions when needed. While you're very confident when it comes to these calls, you're very humble and never a braggart. Some less supportive people might see you as self-righteous and critical. Pay them no mind, especially when you are sure your convictions are on point. Be careful not to set perfectionist standards upon yourself that are hard to reach. These high expectations can lead to neurosis and doubt and cause you stress unnecessarily. Try to find outlets for your nervous energy, otherwise you could have a tendency to be reactive and blow things largely out of proportion. Not only are you indecisive and have trouble making your mind up, but your moods are ever-changing. It's hard for people to know what to expect from you, but your unpredictable nature always keeps them guessing and on their toes. In relationships and connections, your attention to detail and fussing over others is how you show your care and love. A partner who recognizes that your attentiveness is your language of love is a partner who will have a place in your heart permanently. So Holy Spirit Angels, Divine Guides Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for a Gemini Sun, Virgo Moon, for the year 2022 what do you see what do they need to know to reach your higher ground become closer to universe and closer to divine through your messages any messages you have would be greatly appreciated and we thank you virgo sun i mean sorry gemini sun virgo moons for the year 2022 what do you see what do they need to know can you please show me january february and march for virgo for gemini sun virgo moons we have the emperor card in reverse make sure you check me out on tiktok tiktok facebook and Instagram March a I mean April May June we have the death card in the reversed July August September we have the ace of Pentacles in the reversed like share subscribe and or donate we end on the four of wands in reverse okay when I have a reading like this because obviously you guys see that it's all reversals and you can sit there and have opinions on how I shuffle but that's not that's not what it's about my style is my style um, I often tell people that um, I'm reading these I'm reading the energies as they are at this present time and how they're most likely to move forward so without intervention and you coming in and getting a reading or seeing the reading is intervening so human nature is going to have you use the information and move forward differently so that means that these readings should be kind of used as a heads up so when you come upon it you'll be better better prepared for it so hope for the best plan for the worst use your free will moving forward from this reading um, so that we don't get the gloom and doom comments okay so we start off with the Emperor card in reverse, which is the card of Aries for January, February, and March. Um, I'm kind of getting that there is a very oppressive energy in your perimeter during this period of time. Um, this person could be very controlling, tyrannical, cruel. Um, the Emperor is usually a person who wants things his way and his way only, and he will be very aggressive um, in regards to his actions um, to make sure that, that these things get done. So um, this could be a boss, this could be a romantic love interest, a family member, a colleague, a friend, whoever this person is, okay, they're very overbearing, very dominating, um, you know, overusing their authority over you, um, or what have you. So it looks like it's a problematic situation for you there. Now, we get into April, May, June, and it looks like you can't leave this situation. It's not a matter of you can't leave it. And by the way, the death card in reverse is the card of Scorpio. It's not a matter of you can't leave it, rather you won't. Um, usually because you think that um, you usually resist or you're reluctant to move out of it or to have things change um, because you maybe you don't think there's something better out there um, maybe you think that there's going to be backlash if you do so um, whatever it is you you just kind of stay in the situation um, and as a result, what's going to happen is you're just going to end up stagnating. I mean, if you allow this person to kind of overcome every aspect of your life, then um, that's not really living life, is it? So you, you might find that there are actually alternatives to kind of get out of this. You don't have to kind of suffer um, with this and just continually come back to this situation or just remain in it, which is what I see you doing at this present time. Um, well, you know, in 2022. 
you know, I, I get concerned about the rest of the year. I'm not going to lie because in July, August, September, Ace of Pentacles in reverse leads me to believe that an opportunity came where you could have gotten out of this or um, you could have chosen something different from a practical standpoint. Um, something would have actually worked, been viable, um, and I feel like you chose not to. I feel like if I feel like you didn't seize the opportunity, so it went away. Whatever it was, whether it was a job offer, whether it was a hey, come stay with me, whether it was a anything in regards to that, I feel like it was offered to you, and you kind of let it slip out of your grasp by not kind of jumping on it when it was offered to you. So um, be be on the lookout for that in July, August, September. If an opportunity does come towards you to practically get you out of this, um, you know, don't be hesitant to kind of jump on it I think that you should take that opportunity but in the case I'm seeing right now you don't which lands you in the four of wands in October November December which you continue to be in this environment that's very unsettled very unbalanced very unwelcoming you dread it it's not going to be a very good feeling it's um, you know feeling very unhappy um, in what's around you whether it's a home whether it's an office um, or anything like that so um, if you want happiness you might want to come into 2022 with a different perspective now if this resonated consider a personal reading certainly something I can help you with um, just send me an email or a DM also make sure you click on the Vimeo link below. I'll be pulling these clarifiers on these cards for a deeper interpretation and also pulling a card of advice for 2022. Um, make sure you check out your 2021s in my playlist. See if they rang true for you. Otherwise, I will see you in the Vimeo. Adios, Gemini, Sun, Virgo, Moons. Bye.